Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to start learning how to memorize the entire fretboard using the pentatonic uh, concept, the pentatonic scale. Um, what I find a lot with people is that they'll learn like the main position, what we call the first position, and um, then they sort of fall off from there. And I'm telling you, one of the best things that you can do is to learn how to play that pentatonic across the entire fretboard for two reasons. Number one, for confidence and musical freedom. I mean, to be able to use your whole fretboard versus just little bits and pieces of your fretboard, um, there's something extremely rewarding musically for that. Um, so that would be the, the primary reason. But the secondary reason certainly would be as you start expanding your scales and you start getting into things like diatonic scales and modes and all those other things that could be coming your way sometime, this pentatonic platform doesn't change. It, it will still be there. You just add more notes into the pentatonic to create those larger scales. But the framework or skeleton of that pentatonic stays the same. So it's it's very much beneficial for both of those reasons, whether or not you explore more scales or not. It certainly helps you in your ability of being able to just be more creative. So when you want to play something, you can just pick and choose where it is that you want to go across the guitar. So the, what we're going to do is we're just going to break down the five pentatonic positions, how they connect together, how to practice them, um, and then we're going to look at how that converts into major pentatonic, and then that way you can apply that to any key you want. Now I'm going to be doing this in the key of A. Um, I often, when I teach, I try to keep everything in the same key, just because it's easier for you to visualize and absorb, and then you can take the entire framework and you can move it wherever you want after that. So. What we'll do is we'll just start off with the first position of A minor pentatonic, which is the fifth fret right here. And we're going to be playing 5-8, five, 5-7, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Now, penta means five. Uh, tonic means the root note. So what I'm doing is I'm playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, and then I run out of strings. So the notes in this case, and you don't really need to worry about this, but I just want to show you this. The notes I'm playing are A, C, D, E, and G. So right here, A, C, D, E, and G starts all over. A, C, and then I run out of strings. Now, to summarize, the notes I'm playing are A, C, D, E, and G. And needless to say, those notes exist down here on the guitar, and they exist up here on the guitar. So this is just a, a small piece of the bigger picture that we're seeing right here. And again, oftentimes people will get stuck and they'll just play in this one position, which is a great position, but they'll get stuck in that one position playing those notes over and over and over. And what you have to understand is these notes, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, exist all over the place. So first thing for us to do is to memorize this position if you haven't already done that, and I, you probably have, but you want to make sure that you've got that absolutely memorized and real quick here I don't want to talk your ear off but let's understand the difference in my mind between absolute and relative relative is you can figure it out absolute is you know it like the back of your hand there's nothing to think about you know it and when it comes to music when you're trying to create music when you're trying to improvise when you're trying to write and certainly when there's pressure, if there's somebody watching you, if you're performing in front of somebody, if you're playing along with some other people, things like that, you're going to have an element of pressure because you have a responsibility at that point to be making some sort of music, whatever that is. And if all the information that you're trying to expel as you're playing is relative, it means you don't really, really, really know what you're doing and therefore your confidence level goes down. And so what I want you to really think about is, even in this case of this discussion about the pentatonic, is it isn't really about quantity as much as it is quality. If all you knew was this first position, but you knew it like the back of your hand, it's useful and functional to you. But you don't want to end there, right? The next thing to do is to learn the next position and get that absolute. And now you've got two positions that you can work with you know, through your guitar playing career. Once you get that, then you move on to the third position and so on. And we'll talk about what those positions are. But that's kind of the way this should work. If you know a lot of things on the guitar, but everything that you know is relative, um, not absolute, 
then the problem is is that you really can't use a lot of it and certainly can't use it in a in a you know a real confident way